What a project Honda Beat is coming to its final stages before it's for sale. I mean, it's kind of for sale now if you want to buy it, DM me. But I think I'm going to keep this car for about like two, three weeks. And right now we're going to do the really final, final touches. For one, we're going to mount on these T37s. I'm not going to keep them on the car because someone's actually coming tomorrow to buy them. But I wanted to see what they look like. Because in the K community, these are kind of glorified as like the greatest rim ever. The 14 by 5 plus 45s, 4 lug 100. And they're great rims, don't get me wrong. I think they look good on a lot of cars. But for me, they're just super basic. They're like as basic as you can get on some like RPF1 shit. It's like as basic as it gets. That's why when I went to Orlando, I got 10 sets of rims. And most of them were just a flip, just like those. But stuff like this, this is my style. Stuff like this, this is my style. Like I cannot wait to put this on a K car. I have no idea what car it's gonna go on, but I could only imagine just a white K truck with these nice heart shaped rims. And same with these Advans. I think these are gonna go on, you know, hopefully my AZ1 or a future K car. But in today's video, we're gonna mount the T37s on. We're gonna also swap out this rather stripper because after 30 years of being on the beat and after me removing all the crack that was here, it just looks gross. So I ordered a new one from Japan. There's a part number if anyone needs it. We're gonna mount this up. This looks pretty Pretty straightforward look at the difference already though when this is on the car it's gonna make it look even better and then after that i think the car is done a lot of people whenever i like finish a car and i sell it right away people are like damn you didn't even get to enjoy it but with the beat there's just so many things that went wrong for example where i keep saying i'm gonna get another beat like i'm telling you come next spring or maybe if i find one even sooner i'm gonna get another beat because one i love that i wrapped this car and it was pretty easy it was a little challenging as well like i said i still have to fix like some of these little imperfections here only i would notice that but there's some little bubbles there that i want to get fixed so i want to wrap another beat that's definitely something i want to do asap if i bought another one two i ordered so many parts and a lot of them arrived late a lot of them arrived missing for example, I got this roll bar for the beat. I want to install it on the beat. That's the whole reason I got it from Japan. But I'm missing the legs to mount it on the car. So it leaves me stuck. Like, what do I do? I can't sell it like this. And I'm not going to put it on the car without the pieces that I need. So this is just going to sit here until hopefully they find it in Orlando. And then I ordered those trumpets that I'm going to put on a future car. There's a lot of things I want to do with my next beat. This one, don't get me wrong. I think it's still a really great car. I think I did a lot to it. And I think this is still going to be a really fun car for whoever owns it next. But there's still some pieces that I would love to install. And I just can't. And like, I don't see myself keeping this car long enough because I have no idea when I'm going to get that. And it's already getting colder. And there's some other cars that I have my eyes on that I want to get. And this one is basically done. So enough talking. I'm going to do a quick wash on the rims and everything just before I take them off. And then we'll swap this out real quick. Mount on the T37s. And the Honda Beat will be basically done. I think the only thing that I might do, depending on if someone wants to buy it off this video or just really soon, I want to paint these black. I think this black with the black accents from the mirrors, the trunk spoiler, the door handle, the intake. I think that'll make the car look even better. And now the beat looks real good. So next, we're going to install this. I'm going to throw on the TEs. And the beat will be... Installation-wise for this, it looks pretty straightforward. I believe I just have to clip these two off. Put it back in. It has like some sticky material to it. There's some double-sided tape there and there. And then I believe it just really plops on. So let's pop this off. All right, that came off pretty easily. I don't want to rip it, although it's garbage. Oh, you see? Look at that, wow. Let's work smarter, not harder. All right, that's gone. So I just cleaned this all up, put some alcohol to make sure everything sticks. And for about $200, I think that's how much I paid for this. It makes a big difference. Mine wasn't leaking or anything, but just look at this. It's rubber after 30 years, it's obviously gonna fray. It's not gonna really do its job. And then here's the new one. It's really like a 
day and night difference. I think on my next beat, this is gonna be like one of the mandatory mods because I'm gonna finish doing this in about like 15 minutes. And not only is it just gonna make the car look a lot nicer, but I'm sure it's gonna do its job a little better. So now let me mount this back on. I'm definitely gonna need two hands, so give me a second. Update, front windshield weather strip is on. This side was pretty easy to do. You can see everything is nice and flush. Everything looks good, same for up here. But on the other side, if you have a beat and you've done this before, comment below what you did because this side just doesn't want to stick. I can put some double-sided tape, but the other side, you basically just have to like get this. You see right there, that would go under and then it would go like that and then it just looked naturally. But this one, I don't know, it doesn't want to do it. I'm going to continue to work on it. Luckily, it's not going to rain all the way till Monday, so I have some time, but for now i mean it's basically on also threw these bad boys on i'm not gonna lie it looks really good the yellow pops on the caliber i love the black letters it goes with the scheme of the car but not enough for me to keep but i do think to have some potential also cleaned up the interior with this and i threw the roll bar on i wish that i could put this on the car i think this would be like the final touch this would really be the icing on the cake i knew that this was going to be black so i thought it would go great with everything i probably even dropped that off to get painted just so it could pop like that but sadly i don't have the parts to install that so that's going to go on a future build or maybe i'll just sell it months of hard work has got us here still some things i technically could do i could add an exhaust but i like the way it sounds normally I could get some seat covers if I wanted to, but I like the fact that I have the zebra print there as well. And I was thinking about adding fog lights, but again, those are like miniature things. In my opinion, the car is done. And when I feel like a car is done for me, it's like, okay, now what? There's no more videos for me to make. So I tend to just sell it. So if somebody wants to buy this, hit me up. I'm not even sure what it's worth. I would say, I don't know, somewhere around 10, probably less than 10, but around that number. But yeah, I'll end this video here. Catch you guys on the next one. I'll give you guys an ASMR of me driving home real quick so you can hear that beautiful ITB intake combo. Mm -hmm.